yeah, the start of the like wake. Um, third attempt. So the first two were successful. Hoping this one will be as well. So why do the light wake? It's a good, good question to ask because it is a long way. It's it's hard. So that is part of it. Why do it? Challenge. It's a good challenge. It's a good challenge for any walker. It's a fantastic walk. It genuinely is a fantastic walk. It takes you to some amazing moorland environments and takes you through some absolutely fantastic history but I, I really enjoy the walk i think that's the prime reason to do it it is a fantastic walk all it is now is to get on and do it so let's get on and do it are you seriously gonna film the entire thing yeah pretty much oh it's terrible isn't it she's smiling though isn't she which is the good thing no, i can just see why matt complains about you so much Matt complains about me? I'm gonna have to wear without my map. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're laughing right now. We won't be in about 20 miles time. burial mounds we're going to come across. The, uh, the walk itself has a lot of natural history but arguably it's got more human history and uh, part of the, the name of the lightweight comes from the fact that you're walking through many burial mounds and literally walking through 10,000 years of human history but you can see why our ancestors chose this as a place to bury their esteemed and loved ones beautiful very peaceful We've uh, left what you might call the first section now, the, the, the hilly section, and uh, the Wayne Stones are kind of the last peak of that, and we're heading towards Round Hill, and this section now is a little bit more uh, forgiving on the ground. You lose the cobbles, which can be hard on the feet, and uh, the, the character of the moor changes as well. Well, this is perhaps, as John just said, one of the least interesting sections. But uh, yeah, so far so good.
<laughs> it's the most essential part. It's the reason I do it. So, uh, we're just leaving the lighting in after a bit of a stop and uh, feeling a bit refreshed. Feet are a little sore, but legs are all right. The team are doing all right as well. So this next section definitely changes the character again. This time we're heading what I kind of call a cross-country section. We're off the easier paths of that moorland section we've just been through. But the uh, terrain can get very bleak and beautiful. That was the biggest stop that we're going to have as well. So game on. So we enter the cross country section. It's one of them sections that can kind of catch you out a bit. It's uh, undulating with the odd boggy bit. Oh, but it's uh, one of those sections where you really kind of get a scope of the kind of wildness of the moors. You don't see anything that resembles a, a human construct, although of course the moorland is itself a human construct but still a sense of wide open space which is rare in the world today or certainly is in England Years of human history just oh, so we've done fun bogs and now we're heading on to Fallingdale's Moor and uh Jugger Halbeck, dun dun, which uh, can look and feel quite daunting at the time, but hey, you know, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Come on. <laughs> Here we are, Jugger Halbeck, the kind of last obstacle, is that the right word? But it is a beautiful place, it's a, it's a nature reserve and uh, yeah, a little steep. But you know, once you've climbed up there, you're pretty much there. So let's go on with it. Not a million miles to go now. The, uh, the old mast is looking bigger. And uh, a bit of time to reflect on the day. It's been a good crossing. I'd say, to be fair, the, the weather was pretty much perfect. 
you know, the, the sun we had in the morning, so we got a beautiful sunrise at the views. And then, so I was midday, approached that cloud coming over the top, cutting out the, the worst of the heat of the sun at this time of year. Oh, last year, it really was hot. After lying in, heading inland, oof, like walking in an oven. And then this breeze is just nicely behind us, keeping us cool. So yeah, perfect conditions. And a very enjoyable crossing, without doubt. Fe feeling it. This is it, you know, you can't expect, unless you're an elite athlete, at this point, not to have a few aches and a few pains here and there. Mainly feet though. And uh, yeah. Nearly there. Another year. There we go, we made it. Third crossing, uh, yeah, and a, and a good one. Uh, Izzy did absolutely fantastic, really did. Uh, I couldn't have done it at her age. Didn't moan, just got on with it. Absolute style, total trooper. John as ever, stalwart, again, got on with it. And uh, both absolute pleasure to be with. I think that's really important and a real good tip is, is pick the people you cross with because they've, they've got to be of a similar level of fitness and, and a similar level of mentality as well. It's not somewhere to take someone you don't know well, I don't think anyway. And uh, wow, what a day. Another one under the belt. And uh, just a, a few days of recovery and I'll reflect and thoroughly recommend it. What can I say? Till next time.